so I'm a bit tired right now and you may be thinking it's because of all that's happening with the coronavirus and the isolation, the social distancing that I've been going through, that all of us have been going through as a parish, especially because the churches are empty when we celebrate Mass. But you would be wrong. But the reason why today I'm tired is for a very good reason. It's because, because today we invited our parishioners to come over to pick up palms. And we were able to do it in such a way uh, that respected the social distancing, that got people moving through the parking lot that weren't congregating in cars or just personally, and also disinfecting the tables and dis disinfecting the palms. Anyway, so today was a, a very good day because of the passing out of the palms. Because today, to see my own parishioners, to see their smiles, to see them face to face, because for the past two weeks, I've been looking at my parishioners through this lens here. And that's just not the same thing. So to be able to see them, to say hello to them, was very moving for me. And thanks be to God that we are also able to have this kind of creative means of continuing to interact with each other, because my own parishioners were telling me that they were very appreciative of the live streams that we've been doing. Hi, my name is Father Christopher Plant. I am the pastor of St. Bartholomew here in Katy, Texas. And I'm the pastor of St. Bartholomew here in Katy, Texas. And also the live stream masses that we've been doing and they have really been impacted by it, especially during a time in which they had this distance between themselves and the church, physically speaking. But here's another challenge that we have coming up. We have the Triduum coming up, and people cannot come to the church to celebrate the Triduum. They can't come to the Holy Thursday Mass or the Good Friday Mass. They can't go to the Easter Vigil. But then something happens. You know, the Holy Spirit is not to be bound. He's not to be limited by the contingencies of all that's happening around us, even this coronavirus, which is not going to defeat, conquer, or limit our Lord Jesus Christ. Even death itself didn't limit him, and that's what Easter is all about, right? And so the Easter spirit, the spirit of our Lord, is at work, and he inspires us. Yeah, I, yeah, you sent me that. You yeah. sent me that text. So I think in this picture, I think they're just going, you know, different different routes, whatever. Uh -huh. I'm talking about going to the neighborhoods of our parishioners in our parish boundaries. And so, you know who can help us with this? Is yeah. Scott. Oh my gosh. He can. He can. Scott uh, Bergeron. He's gonna be ready. Oh yeah, he, he can build. Yes. He can. He can um, build what we need for that. Maybe he can actually build the thing. Or do we have it? Do if, we have another? If he builds it, they will come. Oh yeah. But we might I have something. So. We'll have to look around. Yes. They what will. Don't, yeah. Why don't you text him? And we need to plan yeah. out the route. We need to plan out the route as well. So that's the other issue. But yeah, let's let's make some phone calls. Yeah, I think it's a great idea. But here's the thing. I just want to make sure that that you're okay with it, because I, I want to make sure that we're obeying the law, that we're not doing anything that's dangerous. Just want to get your sense of it. So, yeah. Yeah, I, I think so too. I think it's gonna be awesome. Okay, I've got an idea for you. We just talked about something, Father Christopher, Father Ricardo and I, and we think you can help. I am very excited that you're very excited to help. All right, here's what we got. Oh, did Carmen call you? She did. Did she forge you what, what, what it was? Yeah, so can we do it? Oh man, is, that's such a relief. Thank you. Thank you so much, Chief. Appreciate you, brother. Awesome. Thank you. Now, usually what happens is on Good Friday, people come over to the church in order to adore the cross. It is the cross on which our Savior hung. Behold the wood of the cross on which hung the salvation of the world. Come, let us And we spend time looking upon the cross, looking upon the body of our Lord, broken and beaten and nailed, and seeing there our Savior, the source of our salvation, the source of our life, the sign of the defeat of the dominion of Satan, the sign of our healing 
and the defeat of our own sin and suffering and death. So how can we get our, our people to come to adore the cross? Maybe the answer is for the cross to come to them.